वेलकम टू रा ऑनलाइन टूडेज टॉपिक इज लैप्रोस्कोपिक फीमेल स्टेरलाइजेशन सो लैप्रोस्कोपी इज अ कॉमनली एम्प्लॉयड मेथड ऑफ एंडोस्कोपिक स्टेरलाइजेशन एंड इट इज ग्रेजुअली बिकमिंग मोर पॉपुलर स्पेशली इन द कैम्स एंड द प्रोसीजर इन आर इंस्टीट्यूट इज डन इन द जनरल एनेस्थीजिया द प्रोसीजर इज डन इन एन इंटरवल पीरियड सिक्स वीक्स फॉलोइंग डिलीवरी विद इन सिक्स वीक्स ऑफ डिलीवरी वी फॉलो ओपन और लेप्रोटमी और मिनी लेप्रोटमी स्टेरलाइजेशन Now laparoscopic sterilization should not be done 6 weeks within delivery because the tube slips out of the rings during involution and it has got a high failure rate. Laparoscopic uh, sterilization can be combined with medical termination of pregnancy in first and early second trimester. Laparoscopic female sterilization can be done with the single puncture or double puncture technique. I'll explain the double puncture technique now. The tubes are occluded either by a elastic ring that's a silicon rubber with 5% barium sulfate barium sulfate to make it radio opaque and it is devised by fellow the fellow rings or we can also use something called as filchi clip which is made of titanium lined with silicon rubber and uh, endothermic coagulation is not practiced now due to high failure rates and bipolar coagulation is safer than unipolar coagulation if you were to use coagulation Laser photocoagulation is not popular because of high failure rates when it comes to female sterilization. Now, coming to the laparoscopic technique, general anesthesia is given to the patient. The patient is put in lithotomy position. The operating table is tilted to approximately 15 degrees of Trendelenburg after port placement. Unusual aseptic precautions are taken as in abdominal and vaginal operations. The bladder should be fully emptied by metal catheter to prevent injury by the varies and troca and uh, pelvic examination is done methodically a uterine manipulator is inserted through the cervical canal for manipulation for visualization of the tubes and uterus at a later step so producing the pneumoperitoneum a small skin incision is made at above or below the umbilicus when it is at the umbilicus we call it as umbilical port above umbilicus we call supraumbilical port below umbilicus we call it as a infraumbilical port and then through this 10 mm or a 5 mm port we can introduce a varies needle first and double click sound is heard and the abdomen is inflated with about 2 liters carbon dioxide the trocar with cannula is then introduced through the incision previously made with a twist movement the trocar is removed and the laparoscope is now inserted through the cannula another 7 mm port is created in the right or left iliac fossa and a trocar is taken out and ring applicator is inserted through the 7 mm cannula The ring loaded applicator approaches one side of the tube grasps about 2 to 3 cm from the uterotubal junction and a loop of tube of around 2.5 cm is get lifted up drawn into the cylinder of the applicator and the ring is slipped into the base of the loop under direct vision so this we just have to shoot and the trocanter or the ring applicator will itself slip it down the tube the procedure is repeated on the other side Okay now let us have a look at how the procedure is done Okay so here we are seeing this is the uterus this is the round ligament that's a fallopian tube and uh, this is the ovary so this uh, is the ring applicator uh, inserted through the 7 mm port So now I am trying to uh, see the Uh, that this is the tube identified by the fimbrial end of the tube so we are just uh, visualizing the tube in its entirety and uh, i the ring should be applied at least 2 to 3 cm away from the uterotubal junction so this is the uterotubal junction so this is the open laprocator the uh loop and then we will shoot the ring so as we compress it or shoot from above a 2.5 cm of loop goes inside this ring applicator 